Hello! In the previous video, we introduced the concept of random variables and their expected value. Basically, any numerical value that cannot be predicted with certainty is a random variable, and the expected value is the average for that variable, also called the mean. The importance of this lies with the law of large numbers, which if you recall states that, if you repeat the experiment many times independently, the average will come closer and closer to the expected value. By now, you may have noticed that our discussion of randomness have demonstrated that the way we look at random events or rare events is not very intuitive and is often surprising. For example, let's talk a bit about the Sports Illustrated cover jinx. This urban legend states that an athlete or team who is featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated is jinxed and will perform badly in upcoming games. People often explain this phenomenon by saying that the person or team got overly confident after being featured on the magazine or that they cracked under the pressure of keeping their status. This explanation can be easily connected to the narrative fallacy, people's tendency to explain things through stories. But if you look at the laws of randomness, it becomes clear that there is a much simpler explanation. When you think about it, the performance of an athlete can be a random variable. Consider a soccer player and the number of goals they score in a game. This value is a random variable because we don't know it beforehand. Let's call this random variable x. x depends on the player's talent and luck. Now if a player appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated, they had an extremely good performance in the previous season or game or whatever. From this, we can say that the player is very talented, but also benefited from extreme luck in the preceding season. If we assume this, the next time the player is playing, we can conclude that the person is still talented, but we are unsure of how lucky he will be in this particular game or season. This can explain the Sports Illustrated cover jinx. Just because a player was lucky enough to get on the cover of a magazine for a particular performance does not mean they will continue to be that lucky in the future games. This phenomenon is called the regression toward the mean, which states that if a random variable is extreme on the first observation, it will tend to be closer to the average on its second measurement and vice versa. Here, the exceptional performance that earned an athlete the cover of Sports Illustrated would be the extreme observation, and the rest that followed would be closer to the mean, or their average performance. This concept can also be understood by observing genetics. Extreme characteristics, such as height, are not passed completely to people's children, but rather the characteristics in the children regress toward the mean. For example, if you have two parents who are extremely tall, their children will be tall, but probably not as tall as their parents. Of course, there is a lot of randomness here, so these statements are based on averages, not specific cases. In this case, if the regression toward the mean did not happen, tall people would continue to have increasingly tall children, and short people would have increasingly short children, causing for a huge difference in the height of people in the population. In summary, Many changes in life and business can be explained at least partly by the regression toward the mean. When performance of a company declines after an extremely successful quarter, we tend to look for explanations and often blame the management. However, the decline in such a situation might be mostly due to the regression toward the mean. Knowing this, we can be even more wary of falling victim to the narrative fallacy and instead have a probabilistic view of events. Thank you for watching.